Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome to Rise Up. Here on Rise Up, I'm all about figuring out different ways of doing stuff. I've already shown you guys how I can do a Spartan race. Well, there's a lot of people in wheelchairs that like to do athletics as well. I recently went down to Arizona in which I was able to coach some athletes doing track and field. Here is a view of some of the different things that, that people in wheelchairs do and the different ways in which they do them. I'll show you a shot, discus, uh, blade runners, and of course wheelchair racers. So go ahead and enjoy the video. All right, YouTubers, here in Arizona, it is hot. It is hot. I thought it was warm when I left Oregon. We were in the 80s. I was like, whoo! But it is hot down here. We are, we are looking at 100, 102 degree Fahrenheit. Crazy. Uh, I, I got my van. Uh, it's not my van, but it's it's the same exact van as my van. So uh, I, I don't know how I feel about that because my van is black because it's more manly. But down here in the sun, um, I, I think it's going to get a little hot. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a a video to see if I can brand my... No, that wouldn't be good. Uh, cook an egg on my seatbelt. That might be a good experiment. It, honestly, 102, let the car bake for a few hours. Uh, very possible. Very possible. So, uh, go Arizona. We're uh, racing. Well, I, I'm probably just going to be coaching. I might be able to get in a race or two. But mostly, I'm down here coaching. So, uh, just, just here roasting in the heat. Alright, so here is how uh, athletes in wheelchairs adapt to field events. There is a, a chair that they lock themselves into to be able to provide leverage to throw. All right, so here we go. This is Casey Perrin. She's about ready to throw. It's not as dramatic as other shot putters. There you go. So you use that leverage from the edge of the chair. All right, now here we go. We got a discus thrower. This guy's a big dude, so and he, he's got a good grunt that comes in here too. Boom. He's got a good throw. Now I've never done field before, so I don't know how good that was. All right, here we go. This is the 800 T54, which T54 is pretty much the highest and hardest class you can go. Now there's the gun. Now see how slow wheelchairs start off. We, we actually do fairly poor compared to runners in the 100, but in the longer distances, pretty much 400 and on up, but definitely in the 800. You can see where wheelchair racers really start excel. See, look, they're already already up to speed. Uh, they start forming this pack, very much like runners. But I I always thought it was more like NASCAR than than like running in a pack. So we're we're gonna see them come down this straightaway. Guy in second place right now is Eric Hightower. I actually raced against him in juniors. Guy behind him is Mark Braun. He's uh, doing quite well. These guys are not disabled. These guys are elite athletes just in racers. Okay, here's the finish. Here's the finish. Mark Braun taking the lead from Eric Hightower. It's a very good run. And uh, on the time there, you, uh, you can't really see, but it's uh, about 140 is the time now here is the lady racers uh, they they are pretty amazing as well now one of the most uh, oh okay if you've ever wanted to see blade runners here's going to be a a bunch of blade runners running the, the 200 so here is here's what it looks like when it's not one guy racing against others in the olympics here they come Go, 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 go
pretty awesome. Some have two, some have ju just have the one. And of course, it's all different classifications due to your uh, disability. One of the best parts of this sport is getting kids involved. And this is the little blade runners. This is the, the tiny blade runners. All, all these kids are pretty small. Good job, Nina! Just like any sport, it is only one generation from extinction. If the elite athletes now don't don't take up the flag and help these guys, look at them! Look at them go! Just because the kid doesn't have a leg doesn't mean he's gonna stop uh, doing sports. It's pretty awesome. Here, here's the little kids uh, in wheelchair racing. The the girl on the inside, I've been coaching her a little bit. She she's already doing triathlons. She's pretty awesome. So here you get to see the junior wheelchair racers. Go, Emmy, go! Yeah, Emmy, holy cow! Go, go, go! Don't stop, Emmy, you got it! Go, go, go! Emmy, kick some butt! Go! You got it, Emmy! You got it, Emmy! Go, go! Well, that's how people without use of their limbs adapt to doing sports. There's absolutely no limits. Sometimes we change how we do stuff to get it done. Just because you have to do something a little differently doesn't mean you can't do it. Make sure you get out there and have a great day. Don't let anything stand in your way. Rise up. Hey guys, so this is uh, me. I returned the car, which I'm going back to the track, but uh, this is how I ride, ride an escalator. I uh, hold on and and uh, let it carry me up the thing. I don't know how wide this is, but uh, this is me going up an escalator. So there you go. This here is one of my flight attendants. I thought he looked like uh, Mr. T or maybe Mike Tyson. He was cool though, I liked him.